Hello, welcome back to the second short video on retrieval via the Do Now activities. We are of course all clear by now that the idea of retrieval is designed to bring about changes in the long-term memory of our students. Uh, that is how we will define learning, that is effectively our job to change the long-term memory of our students. And we want to have as much subject disciplinary knowledge automated by the time students reach the exams. We want those neural pathways to be nice and thick and myelinated. And if you want to watch a slightly creepy video on that, it's only a few, you know, 40 odd seconds long, you can click on the image of the, of the brain scan and you can see the brain growing if you're that way inclined. But we want to have as much material automated as we can in the student's mind, because by the time they get into an exam, we want them not to be worrying about desperately trying to remember that crucial fact. We want them freeing up their working memory to deal with the demands and the stresses of that exam. Now, if we consider the work that's being done around the school on components and composites, we realise that there are lots of things that we can retrieve via our do now tasks. And in my subject, this is just a, a range of some of the things that we might want to consider retrieving as part of our do now. So we've identified in, in our knowledge organisers our golden nuggets. They are definitely something we want to build retrieval tasks around. We've identified tier two and tier three words, but we also need to consider disciplinary skills. In my case, that would be things like dealing with causation or interpretations. We want to have students be able to look at, at questions in exams and understand the trigger words, what the examiner is actually asking them to do how much time they should spend on a particular question. So you don't get that student who spends half an hour on a four mark question. This isn't stuff that they need to think about, it should be automated. They need to understand that different questions will require different writing structures. If these things all become part of our do now activities, then again, they become automated. Students just go onto autopilot and they know how to deal with them. So we might want to think about our do now activities, not just being retrieving golden nuggets of factual knowledge, but retrieving all of the different components of our different subjects. And finally, we want to look for other opportunities to retrieve information. Do now is one plank of our retrieval strategy, but as we know, there are many others and we need to look for and find space in our curriculums for lots of opportunities for retrieval. We've got the knowledge organisers, they're becoming automated, they're becoming something that students understand, they know that we are requiring them to use them, we're setting homeworks around them. We've also got various online platforms such as Seneca, which again, help students to retrieve information. But we also want to think about those points in our curriculum where perhaps we just pause briefly and recover material that we have dealt with in the past. Now, if anyone's got any questions about retrieval, if anyone's got any really, really difficult questions about how all of, all of these things work, please talk to Andrew, not me. But seriously, if you do want to talk to me, by all means, my door's always open, come and have a natter, and I won't have the answers, but we can probably work something out together. All right, I hope that made sense, and thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.